mai tai ti mai luna mai e e ho hi he la kino e bai 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 ola ho to mai ho to mai ho to mai kino e ha ha le le ho hi e la my name is lian michie alolani le le noi uera and i was born here in japan and come back to hawaii two weeks later and i was given the hawaii name from my kupuna anti maheleni kuma o henry and when you look at the essence of the hawaii name it has to do with the person so it means the presence of the ancestors lomi lomi massage traditionally was about looking at the body in three dimensions most mostly three dimensions okay you had the physical you had the emotional and you had the spiritual and so within that part of the lomi lomi you have the opportunity to look at the person feel their energy feel what's going on and also look at the messages that you get intuitively Sometimes I'll do like a chant to call in the ancestors and it will just be something real simple like And I'll do this over the body and then I'll I'll just listen to what else I'm supposed to do after that. I take myself into another dimension while I'm working on the body. The emotions are connected to the physical body. And it is that emotion that affects the spirit as well. So within that healing process you are able to let them now start healing themselves as opposed to just relying on the massage to heal them yeah it, it it works hand in hand you want to you want to let them be responsible also for their healing Lomi Lomi started in Hawaii, definitely, and it traditionally means to rub. But whenever you put two Hawaiian words together, Lomi and Lomi, it makes it more powerful. So it means more than just a rub. Lomi Lomi traditionally started just because someone in your family got sick. or hurt or injured and you needed to help them. And so within the Ahupua'a, which is a division of land. So the Ahupua'a would start from the mountain and end up in the ocean. Okay? So imagine now if you lived up here, you would have to find the la'ao, the medicine that was in this area to help your family. But if you lived down by the ocean, you would find the la'ao that lived down that was down by the ocean. And so in each area were um say like a different way of mastering things but similar in healing. Everyone came from their own ahupua, their own district. Okay? So you're going to find different styles and different islands versus and different people. Like hula or the dance of the art of expressing through music and dance like hula lomi lomi has many different teachers different styles in training most therapists are trained to start them face down with their face in the cradle i prefer to see them talk to them get them to feel my hands understand where i'm coming from and do the mo'olelo the talk story okay sometimes i can talk story and find out what's going on with them before we go into the lomi session 
Most times I will work on this area, the stomach area, the na'ao. This is, na'ao is, literally means intestines. But in this area is your pico, your belly button. And this is where we hold a lot of emotions. In the physical part of the Lomi Lomi, uh, I do something different. I usually do um, sea salt on the spine. And the Ivi Kuomo'o is called, it's called Ivi Kuomo'o, and that's the spine. And in this area, uh, I believe, and I was trained, that this is an area where we hold a lot of ancestral DNA things in our bodies and I can go down the vertebrae and see what's out, what's going on, what needs to go back in and then I can do some uh, vibrational work, chanting, um, I can do some ili ili tapping, the, the warm stones, uh, whatever comes to mind that this would, would best help this person. And then I follow it with hot towels, so I put a, a dry towel, then two layers of hot towels and then another dry towel. And then I work on the glutes and in this hip area. Then I'll do and see what's going on physically and incorporate whatever else needs to go with the stones, the warm stones, or the ili ili. I'll also incorporate um, more chanting if I need to. I'll In Hawaii, we are surrounded by the water and the Pacific Ocean is warm and beautiful and clean and the air is always warm and even on a cold day, it's still warm for most people. And the ocean is there, the mountains are there, the winds and breezes are here. And that one would say that once you get off the airplane, you already feel relaxed when you come to Hawaii. Nature is always connected to Lomi Lomi because we are connected to the energy on the planet. Now when you talk about nature, you talk about how things around you affect you. And in the Hawaiian culture, everything is life. Everything is living. So my, it's Lomi Lomi is a lifestyle. I've been doing Lomi Lomi for over 18 years now. Lomi Lomi to me incorporates everything. And it incorporates everything that I love about the Hawaiian culture too. It incorporates my chanting, it incorporates music, it incorporates uh, using moves that are flowing and beautiful like the hula. And I really believe that uh, this is the gift that I was given to share to other people as well.